And I want to call you to the right time, which the right time to engage in the fight is now. Where are your eyes? Because whatever has your attention will hold your affection. Just look upward to where our help comes from. My help comes from you, maker of the heavens and creator of the earth. There are some moments in this life that we are reminded loudly and bluntly that we are not God. And it would do us well every once in a while in those moments to count them as a blessing instead of count them as a curse. This is the posture of a church that is confident. This is the position of a church that is confident. This is the battle stance of a church that is confident. It's one that worships, praises, and prays. I was sent here, positioned here by Almighty God. You were too, to live in this moment, to make war on the enemy. And we do that when we worship, we praise and we pray. It don't matter how immature you are. It don't matter how long you've been serving Jesus. If you'll be faithful to take your position, worship, pray and praise, the devil will be pushed back in this region. Why? Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to tearing down a stronghold. But there comes this place we don't have to be gripped by fear. Why? Because death is not the end. And it means that we've anchored our life on this side of eternity instead of actually in eternity. We don't fight for the victory. Even in death, the victory is secure for the believer. And here's why shame and guilt grip our heart is because we're listening to the enemy instead of recognizing what Jesus Christ, the son of the almighty God is doing in the courts of heaven on our behalf. Today, right now, he is making intercession for you. If you would just turn your attention to heaven and recognize what Jesus is doing, the enemy would be gone because he don't want none of the truth of God's word in your life. You don't fight for victory. You fight always from the place of victory. Not because of what you have done, but because of what Jesus Christ has done for you.